So, finally happened. Um, Patrick Peterson, you might be thinking? No. So, I made this, uh, uh, uh this, 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 this comparison on my Instagram. Y'all ever ask for, like, some Dr. Pepper or something, and then your mom gets home with, like, Dr. Wham? Or, like, you ask for Mountain Dew and you get Mountain Lightning? That's how I kind of feel right now. Um, I couldn't make a video right on the spot because I was in school, but the Saints traded a fourth and a future seventh round pick for Eli Apple from New York. How do I feel about it? Um, kind of mixed emotions on it right now. Um, it looks good in my mind because uh, he's only 23, so it's very low risk and it was low pay to get him, but with the lack of draft picks we have, we have uh, five. A second, a fifth, two sixes, and a seventh. That's what we have. So, um, our draft class this year is about to be extremely small, uh, very non-impactful, but this goes to attribute to the Saints very, very, very heavy win now aspect as to how they're looking at the team. They wanna win now. They wanna get this Super Bowl out of the way now. So what did they do? They went and traded two draft picks that we probably would've used on a bunch of bums because it's a fourth and seventh. Uh, you know, of course there's gems, like Tom Brady was a seventh round pick, Alvin Kamara was a third. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that the likelihood of you getting a good player like that in the late rounds is very small. You got a 99% chance of getting someone that won't even really see the field much other than rotational play. So it wasn't high cost. Uh, we just have to see if it's worth it. Um, I feel like Eli Apple, he has a lot of potential. He was a 2016 first round pick. He was 10th in the draft of tw in 2016. I feel like he has a lot of potential and he has the big speed, you know, he has all the, the attributes to be a number one corner in the NFL, but just nothing has come together yet. He's been playing pretty, he had a horrible season last year and he's been playing decent this year. Um, I'm, he looks like a low end second, you know, a low end second corner in my eyes, which is something, you know, we have. Uh, he, he was pro football focused 55th best ranked corner in the league. Um, I mean, Ken Crawley and PJ Williams, I haven't checked, but I doubt they're anywhere. Better than 55, Ken Crawley and PJ Williams both suck. So this should address the issue we've been having with them too. Will it fix it? There's only one way to find out. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna throw him in right away, but I know he will be getting playing time. How do I feel about this move? I mean, I'm not mad about it. Um, I'm willing to give it a try and this could mean a lot to us. This could be a big deal. So uh, I'm down to just see where this goes and see if we can use Eli Apple in the right way. You know, maybe he can just fit in our system better than he did in uh, New York. Uh, he was very unhappy with his teammates in New York all the time and the Saints have one of the best locker rooms in the NFL. Uh, he'd be yelling at his teammates on the sidelines, butting heads at them in the locker room. A lot of his teammates referred to him as a cancer. So this is low risk on the playing side but he might cause some problems in the locker room so this is just something where we have to see if it proved it's worth i trust mickey loomis and assume he knows what he's doing so we're gonna see how this turns out um that's gonna be it for now it was a short little you know yeah we signed we traded for eli apple it's delayed of course because i was at school and you know there's nothing i can really do about it but uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll see y'all in the next one, and adios. I'll probably have another video out, video coming out later today because I'm frustrated. So let me get to that.